Russians are intensifying combat operations in an attempt to break through the front lines as the time remaining until the inauguration of the US president-elect Donald Trump is limited, says Ukrainian military expert Mikhailo Samus, director of the new Geopolitics Research Network, according to Espresso TV. The inauguration of the new US president is scheduled for the 20th of January 2025. Donald Trump has repeatedly stated that he will ensure the war between Russia and Ukraine is quickly brought to an end. Samus has explained that the current situation at the front has not changed significantly over the past two months. Russian forces remain focused on the Pokrovsk and Kurokov directions in Donetsk Oblast. The Russians' time is limited. I mean the window of opportunity they theoretically have before Trump's inauguration. Samus said. The expert noted that signals from the US are not as negative for Ukraine as initially feared. The candidates being considered by Trump for his administration are, among other things, anti-Russian and advocate a peace through strength approach, forcing Putin to end the war through power. We'll see the details soon, Samus claimed. He emphasized that this development is not what Russian ruler Vladimir Putin had hoped for when he tried to occupy Donbass over the past year. Putin essentially expected to achieve decisive success in Donbass, occupying nearly the entire region. From this strong position, he planned to negotiate with the new US president. Currently, the situation is not looking so favorable for Putin. He is sending his troops into a meat grinder, incurring massive losses. The Russians are throwing everything they have, all resources, into a desperate attempt to break through the front in the shortest time possible, Samus highlighted. He added that the Kurokov direction is particularly challenging for Ukraine's defense forces right now. According to the expert, Putin aims to reach the administrative borders of Donetsk Oblast to demonstrate to the world and the new US administration that supporting Ukraine is pointless and that Russia is winning. He concluded that this strategy of Russia has remained unchanged for a long time. Sustained rain fell overnight in the Honduran city of San Pedro Sula, with no immediate sign of serious flooding. Tropical Storm Sarah was forecast to drop 10 to 20 inches of rain, with up to 30 inches in isolated areas of northern Honduras. The heavy rain could lead to life-threatening flooding and landslides, according to the Miami-based National Hurricane Center. The weather system made landfall late Thursday about 105 miles west-northwest of Cabo Gracias a Dios, on the Honduras-Nicaragua border, the center reported. That is near Brus Laguna, a village of about 13,000 inhabitants. There are few other areas of population nearby. In November 2020, Ada and Iota passed through Honduras after initially making landfall in Nicaragua as powerful category for hurricanes. Northern Honduras caught the worst of the storms with torrential rains that set off flooding that displaced hundreds of thousands. Ada alone was responsible for as much as 30 inches of rain along the northern coast. Sarah moved back out into the Caribbean overnight and by Friday morning was located just south of the island of Roten, a small-scale tourism destination. In its latest update, the Hurricane Center said the storm was located about 170 miles southeast of Belize City and was moving west at 2 miles per hour, with maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour. Sarah was expected to continue to slow and then possibly strengthen slightly, but remain roughly on that path and threaten Belize's coast over the weekend. El desplazamiento lo va a hacer hacia el noroeste, 
a este punto, a este punto, pero cuando esté aquí en la, eh, y va a impactar a Belice como tormenta tropical, pero ya cuando esté adentro. La zona occidental del país recibiendo algunas cantidades de lluvias entre 15 a 20 milímetros, pero la mayor cantidad de lluvias y precipitaciones que esperamos van a ser en el departamento de Colón, Atlántida y en su medida el departamento de Cortés, hablando cerca de unos eh, eh, 20, eh, 20, 30, 40 hasta 50 milímetros aproximadamente.